These, I can just tell you one thing, these pea hats are a pain in the butt. Welcome back guys to the Legends of the Wind Waker. In the last episode, we started the Dungeon the Forbidden Woods, and now we're just kind of here to end this. Uh, I really just, I'm just very bad at time management. <laughs> to realize that I was a bit over time in the last episode. So I'm um, almost dealt with a dungeon like in a few we're just gonna be done in like a few minutes. Um so I supposed to do by here because I have to climb this. And the chest I'm listening for is actually on top of this in top of this room. The previous room we were in before. But I don't know what to do after this point. Okay, you can climb up here, but I can't reach anything. Unless I'm dumb. Where can I? Uh, wait. I don't think I can reach that. Though. Never mind. All right, forgot. This thing has ridiculous reach. What? Grab onto it, please. Thank you. Forget that this game. This thing has what the hell? I'm repelling all over the place. Whoa. Oh jeez. <laughs> I keep bouncing all over the place. All right, just get on top of this, and get a chest on top of this room that I missed, and that should be all the chests that I missed in all this in this whole dungeon. Um, while I'm doing this, I should have got back and when I got another fairy. I won't die at the. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I might. He's not hard, but there might be some times I might just unluckily just get hit. I don't want to get another game over to a boss. Well, I guess that makes more. It's supposed to make more sense that way, but still. I don't think this, again, this boss is not really that bad. That was hard, but it's not as easy as freaking Goma was. Like, jeez, it's a piece of cake. If they bring their armor, it's basically a piece of cake fight. Wait, what? Oh, I press Y again. Can you ever press Y while your boomerang is actually just flying around the place? You actually can press Y to get it back to keep, make the air boomerang come back to you immediately. Which is interesting. It's like a, I think it's like a remote, remote one. Alright. It's the right one there. What? Okay, I guess he carries another sensor than I thought. You know what? Screw parries. Because apparently this is not helping out with me right now. He's just letting me take damage. Because I was kind of hoping that they're so close together, I could just, like, just freaking hit them under, hit both of them with my sword if I'm lucky enough. But nope. Parry does just want me to keep on getting hit while I'm doing a parry. Ugh. It sucks does make you freaking invincible. While well, you're doing a parry, but nope. Freaking unlucky as hell. Alright. Here we go. Now we're at the boss room. Now I can actually heal myself for a bit. And not derp. If I, yeah, well, some of these are enemies. I think the ones with the fairies are maybe near the door. Oh, I don't think you can go back to this room, but honestly, I don't think we're much was done with this. Yeah, here it is. We're pretty much done with this area, so. It's kind of no point. It's not like, in the, like Dragon Roost, but it's like you're just passing by, but you can't do anything with it yet. And as usual, I think that the one of the jars in, this, in the boss areas usually have a ton of rupees in them for some reason, so. As you can notice, I have a lot of max rupees. I might have actually hit the ru rupee room hit and I didn't even notice. So, if I did, I hope I didn't, when I got a 20 rupee or something, I didn't waste any rupees. I'm just gonna do that, because why not? I don't know why. I'm just joking. I just, I did that by accident, because I thought I had no bear, fear in my bottle. I did not, I'm not that sly. Or decide to just like decide to do that. All right, I'm just like I know it's completely useless, but please just open up all the pots, cause why not? Yep. It's pointless, but meh. Yep. And now we can get back here anytime we want, but we kind of no point. Okay, we're done with this dungeon. Just boss time. Uh, looks kind of beautiful and a nice old flower in the center. And guess who's there? 
This must be my car I've been looking for. Oh. And it's apparently a plant eater. And he ate my car. No, plant eater, Venus fly trap. I know the place is all pink. Now welcome to the dungeon boss of the forbidden. Oh, what the hell? The, for the forest haven. I. What are you gonna do with this? It's just like the other usual vines. Just keep moving. And hit all the and hit all these vines. Just recommend just keep moving because these vines will actually hit you if you stand still. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was talking about. I didn't know there's just been the vines falling, you know. Because then all of these. Um. You know, it's like it's like one left on it. It should automatically fall down, but I guess they're really, really strong or something. You drop on all of them, go to the center, and whack this flower. And if you're quick enough, ah, dang it! If you're quick enough, you actually can actually beat him in one go. Could I actually did it once before. Oh, she said it two damage. Ouch! All right, that's that's some damage. Be... Oh shoot! Uh oh! Oh, you hit me. Okay, did half a heart. Oh, now he's doing a barrier attack. I'm just gonna keep moving. Just keep moving while you're doing this. Wait, what? Didn't I get the other thing? Um, get the other one, please. That should be it. No? Come on, come on, you're slacking. There you go. And this should kill it now. There we go. Like I said, if it's quick enough, could I swear I have beaten this boss doing that one time? It is possible to do it in one go. I just kind of screwed up quite a bit. But oh well. It's done anyway. You got rid of car release, and the flower is dead as well. Hello, troublemaker. Swordsman, are you the one that saved me? You have my thanks. And when it all went dark around me, I thought that my time on the earth was over. <laughs> but why are you here, Swordsman? What? The Jacob Tree sent you? Oh, that, that's what's right! Today is the day of the annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in, oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I didn't get out here immediately. Alright, let's get this. And let's get out of here. Um, aren't you coming? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go in first, I guess. Whirly! And you just do the same thing. <laughs> and even though I went in first, he's on top of me, so... Oh, my car, you returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I knew you warned us many times, but I still, I still didn't listen. Did not listen. Do not worry, Makar. You're safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Drago. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here, which is why I promised you. Please accept it. And there it is. You received Ferrara's Pearl. The Earth Spirit the Deku Tree has fitted you seems fit to give you this give you this jewel, the treasure of the goddess Ferrar. It is my hope that this pearl will lead you to the great a far a fair destiny. At this well, Makar, do not cry. Please play your song for play your songs for me as you always do. Oh that's right, we must we must begin the ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let's be, let the summer begin. Oh, great Drago. As your thanks to you all, you can play harder than you than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just getting down. It's so good.
Great Jackie Tree. This is the year that once once again produces some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we can continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let's go, Crocs, to the seas! See you all next year! Take care! Farewell, Great Swords, we've made a wind, winds of chance. Bring us together again today, someday. I'll just say those Deku nuts are in really in weird, are weird way to carry them. I'm not saying anything else about that. Alright, so, after all that, we're pretty much done here. It is here, but I want to stop by one thing that is now, I think it's unlocked for a while now, but I decided not to go for it because it was kind of full. I'm still kind of full on something, so. This area in front of the guy to take a tree. We got bubbles with a little shop here. Oh, ho ho shop. Like, holo, sh holo shop. <laughs> I bring potions of fruit of the forest. I wish to create potions to help, to help you, swordsman. But the ones that seem only work here my fellow, with all my fellow Rorox. I know. If I were to gain magical power, swordsman, I, then I surely need a potion to replenish it. Then if you if you get right the ingredients, I could be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but you haven't seen... I haven't seen the ingredients to recover magic power here in this forest. If I had the seeds from the flower, the flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, I maybe I'll be able to make a potion for you. Are you must have no seeds? I need some of the Deco Babas, but... The thing is, I have no empty bottles. <laughs> well, technically I can drop this, because really... Oh, there's something specific in this version that makes this not really worth it, but at least I want to show it off anyway. I have no empty bottles. If you give him the Deco Baba seeds, he will actually make you a blue potion, which actually heals all your hearts and recover your magic, all your magic energy. I didn't want to blow the freaking Deco Leaf. Do the Deco Leaf. And he will just give you the, that heals all your magical power. I'll come back here in the future to get that, but right now I have no space to carry it. But that's there if you want to use it. All right. Now that we have completed the thing, let's go to the King of Alliance. That's what you have to say about this. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> you have nothing to say? This place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could it have already been gaining his power? Then I need to return. You must get to the remaining pearl. It lies northwest from here. You must sail him sail immediately. But I don't want to see what is going on over here. Good morning! Letters for Drago! You have one letter. Here's your letter. Poof. Dear Drago. If you're reading if you're reading this letter, it only means that you peeked into one of my many <laughs> big Okay. I mean I mean I'm I mean a debt to you. I'm very sorry that I I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt gift. I cannot do much to help you, but at least I can do this. If you have get any letters or parcels for for you, you will deliver them to the post box near you. I'll see if you see any wriggling po post box. Please look inside of them. I suppose you have to have a long long way to go before your perilous journey is done, but I include a gift with for you with my letter in hopes it might help you. Please accept this to small token and look forward to the day we meet again. May fortune fill your wings, your Kamali's father. And he gives us a piece of heart, which actually is very helpful. <laughs> you don't even know, man. All right, that's pretty much it for there. So now we got the two. Now we got all these two pearls, and we got a few items. We are gonna be this is gonna be kind of side quest filled <laughs> there's a lot open to us as soon as we get a oops that is now what i want to do that we got the second pearl so we gotta go do a bunch of side quests for a bit i'm like yeah it's kind of a bit this is a bit of a break of the action for a bit just get extra stuff I know people. I know people. People like to have your adventure, but just just to make our adventures a bit easier, we just gotta kind of do these. So if you go eastward from, not is it east? 
Yeah, it's east. I don't know. I I always get confused with west, east, east and west. But yeah, this is east. We go over here to Cliff Plateau Isle. And we'll be going to be doing something here. Pay for our college location. Hopefully I'm not gonna make these names wrong. I pretty sure this is it. Um before I do this, usually look for the fish when you go to New Island. Uh where is my bait? I think I also set it to Y. That's a fish, there it is. Get over here. I need to feel my sea chart. I just don't know why, I just really like this fish. He doesn't really have any flavor text anymore. Holy oh, smile, fly! Yeah, yeah, I heard you want to call cage. Oh, I forgot, he just said the same thing. Well, I think it's just different, it just gives you a hint on stuff thing in islands. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, now I was right. Oh, I need to go back and go for his haven. Oops. I forgot, it, it teleports you there, so you kind of forget. I'll do that later. Oh, it's small fry. Hey, small fry, do you know about the... Oh, the only way to hit the switch in the forest haven, the only way... The only way to do that is to fry one of the girls' gills by putting a little bait on your, on your head. I was just telling you about the holy prayer. Alright. Oh, I gotta sail back, don't I? Uh, I'll go back over here and get a stop by and get something. Okay, I'm just going to land. I don't know why... It's an interesting place to put a post box here. Because honestly, this is not really an area you can come back often. Like, it makes sense to put one in the town and one in the village, but it's really weird to... Oh! Shoot, shoot, shoot! I need to change the wind direction north, don't I? I do. Gosh, it's dumb. Okay, I want this wind to leaf to blow the right direction. I gotta change the wind direction so I don't fall in the water. <clears throat> then we got a bit of a little platforming, a little challenge of, of sorts, I guess. You could call it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm lots of... I should be not collecting these rupees. Because honestly, I have no space. I reached the cap. I'll get more rupees later on. But just right now... Yeah, I've just got to not get as much. Hopefully not get as much. Just keep... Way to go, me. Way to go. <laughs> yes, use that bait. I'm sure it's an effective weapon. Did it actually work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I thought I switched my boomerang back. Oh my gosh. That was a waste. This is why I should sit. I was thinking of, I always set it to the R button just in case I don't do something stupid like that. Oh my gosh. It'd be funny if the, bar, the bait actually worked. Like you just he eats it and you just think you just get a free attack in or something. That was funny. <laughs> Alright. Get up here. Oh, that was a very bad jump. Yeah, that was a very bad jump. Ouch. What's over there? Is that a chest over there? What is the chest? Okay. If it's rupees, I swear. Like, I... Oh! Okay. Fine. I guess these brambles like to be trolls today. Ugh. Hate brambles. They do hardly any damage, but still, it's annoying as heck. I'm just trying not to fall in the middle of this, because the whole freaking world works. Please don't be rupees. Okay, I'll deal with that. <laughs> and now the brambles go away. Can I just walk up here? Okay, good. I'm like thinking it's just like a wall of freaking brambles just flying from in front of me just to keep... Oh. Oh, I need a thing. Take this up. Now also this is also weird. This should be burning up with us inside. And I don't know how the th You know what? Wait, what? Oh shoot. I can't use my leaf while I'm having that. Oh, I don't drop back in. I can't use my leaf in there. 
Hey, this sequel should not fit us while this <laughs> we have this on us. But you know what? Again, this is Zelda, and I, that's why I love it. Okay, so just throw it in this and burn this. Did it just really? Wow! My timing! It went away as soon as I threw it. It's, it's like a split second before it does the thing to burn it. That's ridiculous. Well, that was surprisingly unlucky. So we gotta do this freaking third time. Jeez, my luck. Like a split second before it hit it, it just went it went out, didn't it? That was horrible. Ay ay ay. Let's get over here. <laughs> that was awful. Alright. And here's a tree. Oh, this must supposed to be where the seeds landed, but this tree is not doing well. Well, towards me, I haven't seen you in a while. I just left for like a few seconds ago from your island. What do you mean a while? I think you're looking to leave. The forest tree is sprouted rigorously, but when you're planted, but for some reason, this one's wilted. I'm willing to get better into this tree that my fellow products planted is wilting as well. It seems the one, the one tree fails to grow with, from its seed, all tree, forest trees in the year seeds wilt and fall and grow. Mighty, tall, tall and mighty. You need to be able to go to nursery tree back to health. The forest will never spread naked trees. Slowly will they and die. Hmm. If I could spring the water from the forest haven. The forest haven on the trees, maybe all the sap will be saved. The water of the, the well spring of the great naked trees like forest. Well, can you go to the forest and get some water for flows from the naked tree? Okay. So, we'll deal with that later. That's going to be a long, sprung out long quest and plus we can't really we could technically do it now but honestly it's way more efficient if you do it later just saying just telling you that all right let's try to for that next we'll go to the next area i'll see you in the next area we gotta stop by too and plus i might just i'll go back and go get the four savings fish real quick smart fat fish too all right, our next area in, in the island is the, is the Five Star Isle, which you can tell is in Five Stones. But the reason, you can't really land here, but the main reason is that there's a thing here. Picking the birds doesn't want to leave me out. Oops. The birds doesn't want to leave me alone. You recall there's a, oh. I think I need to get the... Can I aim at the... Aim at the bird? Morang, where the heck are you going? Get away. Alright, where's the fish? Because I needed to actually pinpoint the exact location where the thing is. Can you see that beam on the light? That's actually where the... Uh... If you open the treasure chart, they will leave an X, and as you open the treasure chart, there's a huge beam of light that usually shows off when you're far, when you're far away from it. When you get too close, it goes away, so you basically gotta estimate where the treasure is precisely, so... I need to fill out the map so at least can tell the precise location. Because you can tell it got close, it's got, when I got close, it disappeared, so I don't know where it is up to that point. I didn't even get a good view, at least more like it. Because the ocean's gonna be wavy. I really, like I said, I'm not really gonna show me getting all these in. Cause I, later on, I'm going to just take the time and actually get all the area, the map areas. Get a whole map filled out. Cause trust me, there's, there's gonna be something later on that makes it a lot more efficient for me to do that. Cause honestly, I'm not really sure me doing all these, filling out these maps. I might back and get the forest haven one, so that's the one I skipped. So we do this. And you can see we on the you see in the treasure chart that's terrible that's where we are. According to this. So just keep in close. It's spread up out here. Did you salvage arm? And what? What? <sighs> Freaking Conga Rock, get away! Jeez. And you can tell the music not of tells you when you're over it. 
the louder music is the closer you are to the treasure. And there you go. What kind of sucks for me in that aspect is I can't really hear <laughs> it properly because my sound's down. And we get a piece of heart. So that heals off my freaking the Kagarok freaking damage. Ugh. All right, next I gotta go find a submarine. Here we are. Our destination, like so, southwest of where they are from the from the several islands over there. There is a lot of mobs. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. And now we got another battleship we gotta do, which is interesting. And as usual, I'm just gonna take everything these guys got. I don't want them back because I don't want to deal with that yet. Are you responding keys? Please tell me there's not responding keys. Anything but those. Ugh. Why is there water bottles here? Interesting choice. I guess. Let's see if I do this. I don't even know if it did damage. You have shields. You'd have been using it. What? What you think? <coughs> oh, I must. Have, oh, I dropped his sword. And as usual, they are very easy to just defeat. Clean and easy. What the hell? Um, why did my controls went that direction? <laughs> I was holding straight, and apparently I went in the angle. All right, I walk it in here. Makes a chest spawn. Which contains what could it be? 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 It is something that you need. It's a piece of heart. Another heart. Oh boy, we're getting healthy and healthy every time. <laughs> I took up my telescope by accident. I thought I'm gonna take you leave. <laughs> Just look how small it is. I don't know why I thought it would be bigger. All right, let me just equip this back. No, I like setting attacks. I don't know why I like to set the these. I like to set the boomerangs to Y and the Deku loot to X. I don't know why. It's just a weird choice. I like. Yep. All right. I think I'll just end it off here because the next area we're gonna be doing is gonna be is going to be it's gonna be next episode. Let's just say that in the rest of the episodes, it most likely will be just only side quests for a while. So just keep that in mind. So I'll just end it off here. So next time in The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we're just going to go sail around to the rest of the, uh, some new islands and see... and collect some stuff and actually just explore around the sea more, Great Sea more, at least. So I'll see you guys then. Later. Mm -hmm.